this is time to wake up America. Yeah. This is a yeah. serious this is serious. Yeah. The lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, and queer. And they recently added a new one, pedosexuality. Hmm. It's true. <laughs> Meaning where an old man can be with a little girl and there's nothing to be said about it. It's truly <clears throat> sickening. Yes. Here's how swift and quickly it's affecting the minds of our youth. I had a piece of an article that I'd like to read from the Real Homosexual Agenda and it's a real intel of how they're slowly poisoning our minds so that we as Christians and so that we as Christians can accept this corruption. They have adopted the following tactics with the goal of forcing their beliefs on society. Eliminating free speech by harassing and attempting to silence anyone who disagrees with them. Mm -hmm. Preying on children by indoctrinating and recruiting them into their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Imposing their beliefs on others through activists, judges, and even lawyers requiring that everyone accept them and promote homosexuality in every institution, <coughs> such as schools, workplaces, and even in churches. Mm. That's right. Destroying marriage and undermining the traditional family, which is between one man and one woman. That's right. Amen. And in order to annihilate any moral standard of behavior. Intolerance towards... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's just truly incredible how they do that. Intolerance towards anyone who does not willingly submit to their agenda. Mm -hmm. Fighting for a discriminatory and unconstitutional double standard of justice by demanding that crimes against homosexuals be punished more separately than the same crimes against heterosexuals through the hate crimes of legislation and deceptively portraying homosexuality as harmless and victimless, victimless behavior. Yes. Which brings me to Ephesians 4, 29 and 30, where it states, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, right. and that which is good to the use of edifying, mm -hmm. meaning to educate, That's right. that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to refer to the young generation as the woke generation, as well as the ignorant generation. We're so quick to accept anything, no matter how morally or sinfully wrong it is. But then you have your handful of young people that select few that have the spiritual insight and that is really in tune with the society corruption. We are the ones that's going to bring this generation to the light. In another passage, our children are being bombarded in school with the homosexual version of tolerance. In other words, all beliefs are equal, all values are equal, all lifestyles are equal, and all truth is equal. This is the basis upon which our children are being indoctrinated by the propaganda that their beliefs and values, which they learned in their home, are no different from the homosexual or someone involved in adultery or someone involved in fornication. Mm. Children are being taught that all truth is the form is from wrong and doesn't matter. To say something is right or wrong is being this is today's tolerance pushed by the homosexual activists. It's clear that the disordered definition of tolerance has many dangerous implications. And unless society stands up for what is right, we will increasingly find ourselves with fewer and fewer freedoms. That's right. That's Parents. Proverbs 22 and 6 tells us, yes. tell you to train up your child in the way right. that he should right. go. Amen. And Amen. when he is old, he will not depart from it. Amen. 
People are indoctrinating this foolery of a lifestyle mm -hmm. on these young kids, referring to them as gender neutral. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you're raising your child to be a boy or a girl, boy and a girl, so that they can decide on which one they want to be when they get older. I, know. I never heard of that until my recent years in high school. Mm -mm -mm. This is after, this is before I even graduated. It's just now coming to the light. Mm. All of a sudden, it's 2018, and you got boys young as six years old wearing makeup and putting on dresses. Mm. And people are becoming more socially tolerant of it. Mm. But it's time to stand up and take your place as saints. That's right. Amen. 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 That is bad parenting at its finest. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Right. Come on. Something is wrong with parents today thinking it's okay trying to reverse gender roles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Black communities are really starting to come out. It is time for black communities and fathers to raise their black sons and fight against this homosexual agenda. Yeah. It is all over social media, restaurants, public businesses, and mostly in the music industry. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, it's even in the cartoons that our youth and toddlers be watching every single day. Mm -hmm. It goes unnoticed through the adult eye because they think it's just one simple one simple little cartoon with a bunch of flashing lights and a bunch of colors and stuff and everything is all rainbow. Come on. Come on. In the cartoons such as Doc Stuffins, a bunch of toddlers are really into that show. They feature a lesbian couple and it goes unnoticed because no one really pays attention to the characters. Wow. Mm. And the Candy King and Wreck It Ralph promotes gay sexuality and no one ever notices because the adults are thinking it's just some simple child cartoon. Mm. 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 They are casually teaching our kids that it's okay for a man to be with a man and a woman to be with a woman. Mm. But in Leviticus 18.22, it specifically says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as womankind. Mm -hmm. It is an abomination. Amen. And it should be enough proof Amen. right there. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes. And I thank yes. you for your time. Amen. Amen.